solving trigonometric equations with identities. In the last chapter, we solved basic trigonometric equations. In this section, we explore the techniques needed to solve more complicated trig equations. Building from what we already know makes this a much easier task. Consider the function f of x equals 2x squared plus x. If you were asked to solve f of x equals 0, it requires simple algebra. 2x squared plus x equals 0. x multiplied by 2x plus 1 equals 0. x equals 0 or x equals negative half. Similarly, for g of t equals sine of t, if we ask you to solve g of t equals 0, you can solve this using unit circle values sine of t equals 0, for t equals 0, pi, 2 pi, and so on. Using these same concepts, we consider of these two functions, f of g of t equals 2 multiplied by sine of t squared plus sine of t equals 2 sine squared of t plus sine of t. This creates an equation that is a polynomial trig function. With these types of functions, we use algebraic techniques like factoring in the quadratic formula, along with trigonometric identities and techniques to solve equations. As a reminder, here are some of the essential trigonometric identities that we have learned so far. Identities. Pythagorean identities. Cosine squared of t plus sine squared of t equals 1. 1 plus cotangent squared of t equals cosecant squared of t. 1 plus tangent squared of t equals secant squared of t. Negative angle identities. Sine of negative t equals negative sine of t. Cosine of negative t equals cosine of t tangent of negative t equals negative tangent of t, cosecant of negative t equals negative cosecant of t, secant of negative t equals secant of t, cotangent of negative t equals negative cotangent of t. Reciprocal identities. Secant of t equals 1 divided by cosine of t, cosecant of t equals 1 divided by sine of t, tangent of t equals sine of t divided by cosine of t, cotangent of t equals 1 divided by tangent of t. Example 1. Solve 2 sine squared of t plus sine t equals 0 for all solutions with 0 less than or equal to t less than 2 pi. This equation kind of looks like a quadratic equation, but with sine of t in place of an algebraic variable, we often call such an equation quadratic and sine. As with all quadratic equations, we can use factoring techniques or the quadratic formula. This expression factors nicely, so we proceed by factoring out the common factor of sine of t. Sine of t multiplied by 2 sine of t plus 1 equals 0. Using the zero product theorem, we know that the product on the left will equal 0 if either factor is 0, allowing us to break this equation into two cases, sine of t equals 0 or 2 sine of t plus 1 equals 0. We can solve each of these equations independently using our knowledge of special angles. Sine of t equals 0 t equals 0 or t equals pi, 2 sine of t plus 1 equals 0, sine of t equals negative half, t equals 7 pi divided by 6, or t equals 11 pi divided by 6. Together, this gives us four solutions to the equation on 0, less than or equal to t, less than 2 pi. t equals 0, pi, 7 pi divided by 6, 11 pi divided by 6. We could check these answers are reasonable by graphing the function and comparing the zeros. Example 2. Solve 3 secant squared of t minus 5 secant of t minus 2 equals 0 
for all solutions with zero less than or equal to t less than two pi. Since the left side of this equation is quadratic and secant, we can try to factor it and hope it factors nicely. If it is easier for you to consider factoring without the trick function present, consider using a substitution u equals secant of t, resulting in 3u squared minus 5u minus 2 equals 0, and then try to factor 3u squared minus 5u minus 2 equals 3u plus 1 multiplied by u minus 2. Undoing the substitution, 3 secant of t plus 1 multiplied by secant of t minus 2 equals 0. Since we have a product equal to 0, we break it into two cases and solve each separately. 3 secant of t plus 1 equals 0. Isolate the secant. Secant of t equals negative 1 third. Rewrite as a cosine. 1 divided by cosine of t equals negative 1 third. Invert both sides. Cosine of t equals negative 3. Since the cosine has a range of negative 1, 1, the cosine will never take on an output of negative 3. There are no solutions to this case. Continuing with the second case, secant of t minus 2 equals 0. Secant of t equals 2. 1 divided by cosine of t equals 2. Cosine of t equals half. t equals pi divided by 3, or t equals 5 pi divided by 3. These are the only two solutions on the interval. By utilizing technology to graph, f of t equals 3 secant squared of t minus 5 secant of t minus 2. A look at a graph confirms there are only two zeros for this function on the interval 0, 2 pi, which assures us that we didn't miss anything. When solving some trigonometric equations, it becomes necessary to first rewrite the equation using trigonometric identities. One of the most common is the Pythagorean identity. Sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta equals one, which allows you to rewrite sine squared of theta in terms of cosine squared of theta or vice versa. Identities, alternate forms of the Pythagorean identity. Sine squared of theta equals one minus cosine squared of theta. Cosine squared of theta equals one minus sine squared of theta. These identities become very useful whenever an equation involves a combination of sine and cosine functions. Example three, solve two sine squared of t minus cosine of t equals one for all solutions with zero less than or equal to t less than two pi. Since this equation has a mix of sine and cosine functions, it becomes more complicated to solve. It is usually easier to work with an equation involving only one trig function. This is where we can use the Pythagorean identity. 2 sine squared of t minus cosine of t equals 1 using sine squared of theta equals 1 minus cosine squared of theta. 2 multiplied by 1 minus cosine squared of t minus cosine of t equals 1. 2 minus 2 cosine squared of t minus cosine of t equals 1. Since this is now quadratic and cosine, we rearrange the equation so one side is zero and factor. Negative two cosine squared of t minus cosine of t plus one equals zero. Two cosine squared of t plus cosine of t minus one equals zero. Two cosine of t minus one multiplied by cosine of t plus one equals zero. This product will be zero if either factor is zero, so we can break this into two separate cases and solve each independently. Two cosine of t minus one equals zero, or cosine of t plus one equals zero. Cosine of t equals half, or cosine of t equals negative one. t equals pi divided by three, or t equals five pi divided by three, or t equals pi. In addition to the Pythagorean identity, it is often necessary to rewrite the tangent, secant, cosecant, and cotangent as part of solving an equation. Solve tangent of x equals 3 sine of x for all solutions with 0 less than or equal to x less than 2 pi. With the combination of tangent and sine, we might try rewriting tangent. Tangent of x equals 3 sine of x sine of x divided by cosine of x equals 3 sine of x. 
sine of x equals 3 sine of x multiplied by cosine of x. At this point, you may be tempted to divide both sides of the equation by sine of x. Resist the urge. When we divide both sides of an equation by a quantity, we are assuming the quantity is never zero. In this case, when sine of x equals zero, the equation is satisfied, so we'd lose those solutions if we divided by the sine. To avoid this problem, we can rearrange the equation so that one side is zero. Sine of x minus three sine of x multiplied by cosine of x equals zero. Sine of x multiplied by one minus three cosine of x equals zero. From here, we see we can get the solutions when sine of x equals zero or one minus three cosine of x equals zero. Using our knowledge of the special angles of the unit circle, sine of x equals zero when x equals zero or x equals pi. For the second equation, we will need the inverse cosine. One minus three cosine of x equals zero, cosine of x equals one third, x equals cosine inverse of one third, approximately 1.231, x equals two pi minus 1.231 equals 5.052. We have four solutions on zero less than or equal to x less than two pi. X equals zero, 1.231, pi, and 5.052.